guys welcome back to my channel today i am doing game day appetizers i'm doing buffalo chicken dip which is in the crock pot and then i'm doing um the velastic uh bacon wrapped pickles in the air fryer it's gonna be a favorite i'm gonna make some actual ranch like the kind you get in the packets those are really really good and then um we're gonna go to my mother-in-law's and go swim so i'll have something to bring and also it's it'll be great for football parties super bowl all that good stuff so let's get into the video also ignore everything in the background we are getting ready to move and also we live here so there's that um but it's fine okay so today i have my helpers i don't know how long this one's gonna last i think he's about to go play basketball with daddy but he will be at the beginning of her video and then Hey Wei, one of her hair curled like mommies. Okay, so we're working on the buffalo chicken dip first. It actually takes an hour on high, not two hours. Canned chicken works great. You can do rotisserie chicken. I don't like to mess with chicken on the bone, but you will drain these. It's gonna be one and a half cans of that. Two cream cheeses, three fourths cup of the uh, Frank's Red Hot, and then two cups of the shredded cheese. You're gonna add that last. And we have it with Julio's chips and, or, um, the Ruffles, which I don't, I'm not a fan of their new packaging, but yeah. Um, or you can make the keto and do celery with it. So I'm gonna go prep all that in the kitchen. Oh my gosh, why is it so difficult? <laughs> this is why you wanna cook with me, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> You can add a little bit more if you want a little bit more spicy. And normally I double the dip, but today we're going over to my mother-in-law's and it's just getting, my husband's working. It's gonna be my mother-in-law, father-in-law, and my kiddos. So it's not a whole lot of people eating the dip. And my sister-in-law's gonna be there, but she's vegan, so. You can add the cheese last, but honestly, it'll be fine. I'm, I'm gonna be here to continuously stir it for the next hour. My hands are washed. Easier to measure it like you this. Do it. You can do it. So this is gonna be Whoops. one cup. Whoa. And two cups. Alright, I'm gonna plug it in on high for an hour. Stir continue like every I don't know. 10 to 20 minutes. You don't want it to stick or burn around the edges. Just keep stirring. That looks fun. Ignore my super old crock pot. I've only had it for like nine years, but you know, it's not broke, so. Next we are doing the bacon wrap pickle spears. Um, you're gonna need whatever seasoning you want on it, um, a barbecue rub or something of that sort. This is what I have. Um, I've already preheated the air fryer to 400, and she's just gonna help me with the actual seasoning since this is raw. After this, we're gonna go work on the ranch. By the way, I don't know how I had exactly enough, but it was perfect. Go ahead. Do it together. Abby, oh, you're gonna season the other side of it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Let's try this together first, okay? Okay, one, two, three. Okay, I did five right now in the air fryer for 15 minutes. Okay, so I read the bag. 
living the hot mess mom life always. I don't have the container to put the ranch in, so we're just gonna use Tupperware. It is only, um, it's just the Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning packet, one cup milk, one cup mayo. Sounds disgusting, but um, I've had this before and it is delicious. Um, and then you're gonna wanna refrigerate it for 30 minutes before you use. But I'm gonna have this with the pickle spears and. question for y'all do y'all obsessively like wash your hands in between each ingredient and dry them because I know some people they just like cook and then they wash their hands at the end but like when I have bacon and pickles and like anything I'm just like by the end my dish towel is like soaked so am I the only weird one I know I'm not somebody else has to do it we're gonna whisk together all of this because it's still I don't like the consistency but we're just gonna pray it stays in the bowl so I'm doing it. Sissy's gonna get a turn. Let's keep it in the bowl. Okay. You're looking like a pro, like mommy. Look at that whisk. You need to do it in slow mo. Hang on. So, this will be the consistency for right now. It will thicken and will be like a regular ranch when we're all done. I'm gonna do a little bit longer. I like them crispy, crispy. Going to top with this. If you've never had this before, it is amazing. I have it on my burgers. Oops. Oh no. Oh my goodness, it's making a mess. Okay, well that's not gonna work. They look pretty good. So this is the best appetizer I've ever had. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. If you like this video, don't, don't forget to subscribe so I can make more videos like this and I'll see you in the next one. Be really, really good. This video is gonna have so many bloopers. <laughs> today <laughs> for keto chips which is what my father-in-law um does or you can make it keto by oh no can't see my head uh, in wrapped pickle pickle spears that are bacon wrapped <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <I can't. sighs> man you cannot say anything i know But this is definitely a crowd favorite. Man, <laughs> he said, man, I should sleep more. <laughs> I know.